Hey folks, it's Fritgar here, how you doing? Welcome back to Alps Panorama at the Northern Sea here in Farming Simulator 19. No, I don't. I don't have the other ones active. Uh, the others are there, but I don't have them active on this map because I was just going to use the bigger stuff on this map. But anyway, we want to go into here and we want to go to Customize in here. And it's the rim color here. His blue that he recommended was that one right there. Um, now, I don't know if he's done anything different with the wheels for that particular color. I don't think he has. But, um, oh no. That the Rab Blue was the one that he... Do I want to purchase? Yes. Right, so now I've just got to hitch those items back on like that. That was the one that he intended for it to be used with. That that was the better colour complement for the tractor, he felt. So, I've done that. I have now updated this, Mr. Petro Gracemark. That one is now looking absolutely schnazzy and wonderful. And what I'm going to do over here in this field is we're going to unfold this cultivator. We're going to start doing some cultivating work. However, what I'm not going to do is I'm not going to um, nurse it around the outside run. I am going to do some cultivating. So I'm going to run the cultivator all the way up through there like that. I go from this point right here. We'll press H and we'll let that one carry on and do what it's going to do. Up through there. I've got a lot of people that have been saying they think I should use um, course play. Now, I have talked about course play. There's still a few people saying they think I should try using course play, try doing some stuff with it um, in one or two episodes maybe. And, you know, there, there are things that we could have it doing that are a lot more simple than others i have got the ai vehicle extension although i've not activated it yet because really i'm quite happy to use the standard ai on the map um but i will consider getting some course play going and um, i just need to familiarize myself with the controls and so on so we'll worry about that soon i'm just not quite sure when it's going to be happening so we'll leave that one there he's going to carry on and cultivate the little bits in this field that do actually still need cultivating. Uh, we'll, we'll get to you. This one over here is our next task. Now, if you remember, we had a little bit of an issue with this Bednar cultivator over in the shop. I had to fire Jimmy J because he was the one responsible for getting this cultivator um, over in the shop um, stuck up on the top because he, he, he modified things a little bit for us and then this one sort of went out and I fired him on the spot over that but I did also then give him a chance to explain his actions and he did explain reasonably satisfactory um, about why he made the terrible terrible mistakes that he did Basically, what he did was he went along and he, 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 re he adjusted the shot position and then tested it. And he tested it really, really thoroughly. And he, he, he did. Um, he tested. He got the longest trailers that he could. He looked through the machinery and he thought, right, well, th these trailers are probably the longest ones. And he tested. He, he tested quite thoroughly uh, where everything would go and how they would sort of look once they'd uh, gone all the way out through. And it all worked perfectly. It was absolutely fine and it worked really well. So... Ideal, excellent, we've done it, we've tested it, wrapped it all up and then shipped it off to me. Unfortunately, this Bednar cultivator is a little bit longer than the longest um, trailer. This is probably the longest machine in the game, this one. And Jimmy didn't actually realise that this one was longer than the longest trailer. So, to be fair, he did test it. He tested it all thoroughly. It's just that he overlooked the fact that this one was marginally longer than the trailers he was using, which resulted in this one being on the roof. So he has gone and tweaked it again. We've now got a slightly updated version um, where I don't know if he's just removed the cell, the, the, the reset point from in front of the shop altogether and we've just got the other bit out to the side or if he altered it again. But anyway, it has been tweaked. So I took this into account... Ooh, the cultivator went right across the road there and has gone and cultivated into the grass over the other side. We're going to have to go and replant that little bit. I will have to get the planter back up here and do that. Actually, I'm going to do that now because otherwise I'm going to forget all about it. So let's go and get you. 
We'll run you up the road. So Jimmy J has got his job back just for a while. So, so long as he doesn't make any mistakes like that again, we, we'll be, we can be forgiving of one mistake. Uh, we, 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 we allow everybody to have one mistake. But beyond that, my goodness me, you better look out. So <laughs> we, we, we've hired him back again. Jimmy, Jimmy J has got his job back. Um, but he's, he's on trial at the moment. <laughs> He's, he's, on a, he's, he's on a trial period at the moment to decide whether or not he gets to stay here indefinitely or if he's going to be moving on once again at some point. Um, no, I'm not actually that mean. Um, but, um, yeah, uh, we, we did have a, a, a great... We, we did, did talk about this in the Discord, and um, it was quite amusing. He, 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 he watched it, and he was... Um, Oh, I see. It doesn't actually plant over where the grass is. It's Well, that's because we're planting grass, isn't it? Um, but anyway, it's replanted that little bit. We've done that. That's what I wanted to do. So now I will go and take this one back. And then we will carry on and just finish off that little bit of cultivating. Most people, I asked you, where did you... you know, what did you want me to do with the, um, the patch of trees up there on the top of that field all the way over there? Most people said leave it. It looks really good. The trees are sort of part of the map. And you do get features like that sort of um, when you're out farming. Um, so most people said leave it where it is and don't change it. So we will leave that one exactly as it is. We won't change that one. We'll leave it there and we will work around it. Let me stop there like that. And back we go. How are you doing? Oh, you've, you've decided to go that way, have you? Well, yeah, whatever, whatever you feel is best. I'm, I'm just going to let that one do do, do whatever it needs to do, and, and we'll leave it like that. So, why have I got lines like that? Let's have a look through a minute. So, this one's over here. We've got that little bit around the edge where the bednar didn't quite reach. We've also got some bits over here and then around the trees themselves. Soil composition, it all needs lime. Uh, none of it actually needs ploughing, and then the fertile it, it's not a fertilizer issue up there. It's just the, the lime issue. Right, well that's alright, and then we've got to fertilize that, and then field four is all going to need fertilizing as well at some point. So I, I'm not going to worry about fertilizing it first, I'll, I'll leave it as it is. We'll put fertilizer on after we've gone and done some other tasks. So I'm going to come back over this way, and... I'll lower you in here, like that, and we'll just start working over this bit. Uh, but this is the main reason that uh, the people who said that I should get rid of the trees, this is the main reason that um, they said I should get rid of the trees, was because you didn't want me to be nursing this round every single time, um, like doing the bits around the, the trees, the headland and everything, although we're probably not going to keep this bed in our cultivator. We're probably going to stick with the slightly small, a slightly narrower one that we've got over on the Valtra, and we'll keep that one because I'm. we've got a lot of tractors on here. We've got loads of tractors, and we're going to be increasing the amount of land we got, and as time goes on, we're going to be doing more and more work um, with multiple, more and more times with multiple tractors out in the field. So we'll just be able to put a vehicle with a cultivator on it, going out in the field, and then leave it to it. We're not going to have to worry about it in the slightest, and we can come back later on and deal with it. Um, and that's going to quite significantly alter the way that uh, different tasks are dealt with. So it's, it's not going to be taking up a huge amount of time. The smaller cultivator will allow us to get closer to these trees all the way around it, which means that we'll actually have to do slightly less time nursing things as we go around the trees. Um, I mean, I I suppose we could keep the bednar and keep that one running as well. I don't know. No, I'm, I'm thinking we probably won't. I'm thinking we don't really need to have this cultivator here. I mean, yeah, I know I said that it's supposed to be big scale, but we can still do big scale without having this one cultivator. I mean, it does depend because we're planning on next year making this field bigger. We're going to go and take out a load more of the trees in the middle over there and make it bigger. A lot of the trees down there will be staying. Like, I don't want to get rid of too many of these deciduous trees that are around because those are the bits that really sort of show you the indication of seasons working. 
Uh, so we don't want to get rid of too many of those. Um, which means that, yes, I'm going to make this field up here really big. And then, I suppose, if we are making this field really big, well then it would make sense to keep this cultivator. This one would be the one that we would want for the job. There are other cultivators we could use, and we could have more vehicles working at once doing the cultivating and stuff, but at the same time, is that what we really want? I'm thinking probably not, and if we've got, say, hang on a minute, Let, let's, let's just have a look at the, oops, no, uh, have a look at the map over here. So at the moment, we're sort of looking at this bit out to this side. I was thinking about having those three bits there joined onto the field. That's going to bring that one sort of up around here. And then we've got the road that already runs along there. Well, that's going to be removed. So we'd remove the road up to that point. Um, we've got that road that runs up there. And then we've got that bit that goes up there. We've got this bit off to the side of us up there. And we own that. We just don't own those three down there. Uh, those would be the rest of our money, pretty much. So these three here, as we don't own them, but we do own this bit, we could certainly bring that out and we could remove that bit of road. And we could remove the bit of road there because we would eventually be removing it back over to here as well and turning all of that into field. So then we could plow out round here on that bit. And come down here and plow that bit up there, removing all the trees in the middle of this section. And then we keep that road there, so that's access up to the house and that up that side. And we keep this road that runs down through here. The rest of these, they all get rid of, and we've just got this one huge, great big field all the way through there. I've got one little spot there that's not been plowed. Remember seeing that? Looking, it's, it's right over there. I don't. It doesn't look like there's anything there that's not been ploughed. But according to the map, oh, unless it's just uh, it's, it's something to do with the fertilizer. It's something to do with the fertilizer because of uh, where there was a bush or something, a shrub, something like that. But yeah, that's the plan. So we could plough up a big chunk of that one over there, going up near that mountain and then coming back down again. And going across those bits of road there, all the way out through there. That is going to be a massive field when we get done. Which means that, yes, we would want to keep the Bednar. This would be the cultivator that we would want to be using. For something on that kind of scale, yes, absolutely, this would be the minimum cultivator we would use. Probably we would go for the even bigger cultivator. The only problem with the even bigger cultivator is that here in Europe... You wouldn't be able to get that one around the roads. This one would be kind of a realistic thing to have on the roads in Europe, as well as the one that's on the Valtra over there, on the Sour Skittles. Those are both options that you would see in Europe because of our smaller roads that we tend to have. The really great big wide ones that fold up, and sort of the, the big sort of almost spider web-like um, folding. Um, you don't tend to see those in Europe here because of the amount of space they require whilst driving down the road. Uh, the same really goes for using doubles and triples on a vehicle like this, uh, a tractor like this, driving up the road. It, it's very rare. You would have to have spotters going in front of you to block the traffic so that you could get through, or you would attach the wheels in the field. Attaching the wheels in the field is quite a common thing to do, uh, you don't have them on this one. They're done up with a load of bolts. I mean, that would be done as well. It's not actually all that much work to go and put the extra wheels on. The ones over on that tractor over there. Now, I'm going to stop now. I know that we've got some bits over this side. There's some little patches around, but I'm just going to leave the rest of those. We want to get on and we want to get started with the line. So we're not going to worry about this bit. So I'm going to lift that one up like that. And I'm actually going to fold it right here. So I'm going to start folding that one up like that. It lifts up. There. And then we've got to start driving forward as he folds that one. Otherwise, he's going to rip those wheels off, isn't he? There. And that's it. He's folded. It's really long as well once he's folded up, isn't he? But that would fit 
along the roads in Europe. That Yes, admittedly, the small windy roads, you wouldn't fit that in, but you probably wouldn't want to be taking this along small windy roads. Um, and those wheels, most people that run vehicles with double wheels, they don't drive them on the road with double wheels because of the special um, escorts that you've got to have with them when they've got double wheels. Uh, that one over there, what's that one like? This one... You don't see the clamps on that one. You don't count. No, no, no. And that one's bolts. What about you? Right, in here, look. See those rods? See the tie rods they've got in there? That is generally what happens with the second wheels here in this country. At least we're the ones that I've been involved with. Um, you got tie rods like that, and it doesn't take long to put those in. You, you you roll the wheel into place, you drive the track. You actually usually you have some blocks, and you drive the tractor up onto the block just a little bit. It's only got to go up enough so that it takes the pressure off of the outside wheel. You haven't got to sort of press it down or anything. So there's no real. There wouldn't be any weight on it. And then you can put those tie rods in and quickly do them up. It's, they're really easy to do up as well. It's really quite a simple process to do that. Now what are you going to do? You're going to turn... Okay, you're going to do just fine. So we'll let you carry on there. And this one here... No, I don't want to do that one yet. I want to do this one. I'm going to drive you back down to the farm. We will wash the bed. Now, do I want to keep this one? I'm thinking I don't want to keep it, because we leased that one, didn't we? Garage. Uh, leased items. Yes, we leased that one. So I'm thinking we will return the Bednar over to the shop. And we will use some other vehicles. We'll, we'll park the Challenger up a minute, and we'll, we'll do some other stuff. I'm not actually going to drive it back to the shop. I did just want to drive it back into the yard a minute, just to make sure that we can fit in here with it and it all comes in through nice and tidy that works perfectly we're gonna go I, i'm 99 percent certain that i did actually install jimmy j's updated version um so i'm gonna go there like that and i'm going to reset that one to the shop like that and then what i'm gonna do is i'm gonna go to the shop over here and I'm just going to make sure... Oh. <laughs> it's... I must not have installed his updated version then. I thought I did. I honestly thought I, 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 thought I did that one. Because none of the others are going to be an issue. Right, reset. Yes. It's... Right on the very edge. He has moved it out a little bit. And I'm assuming that he must have tested it elsewhere. And it did work alright. It's just not quite working on that one. Because you can see it's it's right there on the end of it. And that is, I'm pretty certain, the longest one that you can get. So anything else is going to work just fine on here. It's just that one that happens to be longer than anything else we've got. So I'm going to return that one so we don't have to keep paying for it. There, that one's gone. And we've got a cultivator that's busy working on the back of the Frithgar tractor over here. It's just going to finish up that bit. And then we've got the rest of this field to do. There's nothing else I want to do on there. I want to go out this side now. We want to start doing the lot. Helper H has completed their task. No, you haven't. Let's go back over to you. And you have not completed anything at all. I'll bring you over here. See, I don't want to cultivate up the grass on the side there. So I'll go to here. That's a slight problem with these fields. With the Oh, no, that's not going to cultivate up the grass because that's not ploughed land. So that, that would have actually been just fine. Um, but we'll let that one run up there. We want to go over to this one. We're going to get started on this one. We'll unfold it like this. And we're going to go once around the edge... And then once we've done once around the edge, we will start the hired help doing the rest of it. So let's go and start spreading lime as well. 
Uh, the problem with this is that we're going to need a lot of lime. It's going to take quite a long time to be able to get all of this one done. Fortunately, we've only got to do this every third harvest. So we do have that very strongly in our favour. Um, but that being said, how much am I going to use before I get all the way around this field? And yeah, I know that we've got these like little bits of ploughed land. I'm actually quite fine with leaving that as it is. I, I, I don't think it really matters all that much. Um, and yeah, I know I didn't quite get to the edge of the field there either. I'm leaving a little tiny thin stripe, but that will also be fine. It, like the, the overall grand scheme of things, those aren't really going to make very much difference. So we get up all the way, we'll go, I'll go all the way around. When we get over near the Island of Trees, I will just go around that. And I'll do twice around that one. And then we can carry on going around the outside of the field. Just once around the outside of the field. And then we can set the hired help going. It will go and do the rest. And this is where people are telling me that I should be using course play. Because apparently course play is very good at calculating the edges of the field and just working it from there. Whereas the standard hide help does, doesn't do quite the same. It's, it's not quite as good with doing that. And also you can have other issues with um, standard uh, hired help sort of not completing the task properly, leaving bits behind and, and little, little odd bits here and there. Uh, the AI vehicle extension is good, but again, there are some bits where it doesn't work quite. It, it doesn't quite work properly. Although I haven't actually tested it with the tractors. I've got a link. I've been provided with the link for the AI vehicle extension, and I'm going to use it. And I'm thinking that I might try and use it for doing a little bit of tractor work. Although I'm not sure about that. I don't generally use it for track, or I have. I didn't in FS17. I generally used standard hired help for tractor work, almost all tractor work, and then I used the AI vehicle extension was only for doing the combining. And I I got on I, I found it was absolutely perfect for combining. And th there are a couple of issues with it at the moment as far as I know, but generally speaking from what I've seen it's still pretty good. I don't think there's like all that much wrong with how it works and what it does. Now, coming up here. Yeah, I, I was thinking maybe I could. I'm wasting a lot of lime getting up this hill. Wasting a lot of lime getting up this hill. That's why we should. That's where we should have the um, mod that only does it like just along the ground. And going around a circle like this. In order to get it to spread properly, you've actually got to cut in quite tight, haven't you? Because otherwise it just doesn't do it. That's always something that's bugged me about this. It bugs me in real life as well. Whenever you're doing stuff like this, you've got to sort of, like, you've got to hug much tighter than you think you would. Because otherwise you just don't get the spread properly. It doesn't get right into the inside edge. And it, yeah, it, it, it's not right. So I'm going to do the same here on this one. I said I'd do twice round. I'll go like that. And see, it's it's coming right out to the very edge of my spread spreader width on there. But then it's it's spreading out around the outside corner quite nicely as well. So it's, it's sort of, it, it does do a full width. Mostly a full width. I know you're turning, so it's not quite, the, like, all the angles and everything, you're turning a little bit as you do it. So it's, it's not going to be 100% on that. And then I'll bring you over to here. And stop just briefly and start again. And I'll get to about that point right there. And then I'll stop. And then what I'm going to do is I'm going to go back over this side like this. And start it there. And go in across here. Just like that. And that's going to take care of this bit over here. I shouldn't have really bothered doing that bit up and down that, or going up that hill. I should have left that. And then I can come back over and do another pass right there. And then I'll tidy that up at the end of it. Once I've gone and done all of this. There. Bring that one through. 
out to there and then we can stop spin round and that's looking pretty good so we just got the rest of the outside round to do then i can start the hired help doing all the rest of this field bring you in there like that he goes along quite nicely i'm curious what's it like when because i've never used any vehicle with double wheels in a field the only time i've ever personally ridden in or had anything to do with double wheels is a wheel loader on a silage clamp and I only did a little tiny bit. I didn't really do very much of it at all. But the double wheels do work quite nicely on that. It, it, it was you know, perfect. It was absolutely perfect for the job. Um, but no, I'm, I'm curious. If you're going along and you've got like a ploughed up field. And you've got double or triple wheels like we're using on here. How does that work? Like with, with your um, nice smooth ride. Um, I would assume doing it. With triple wheels, like, uh, I've been saying double wheels, but we've actually got triple wheels on this one. Doing it with triple wheels, like we've got on this. I'm going to assume that that would give you a nice, even, comfortable ride. You, you're not going to be sort of rattling around like a pee in a drum doing that, are you? It's, it's, it's going to be quite even, and you, you, you shouldn't have any difficulties at all with it. Like, you, you shouldn't have any problems with it um, shaking you about. It should be, because of the huge spread on the wheels like that's surely that's going to give you a nice smooth pleasant ride on that you're not going to have anything um like any big bump that you go over because it's going to be so spread out with those wheels then surely this it's going to end up sort of completely mitigating it and you're not going to have any problems at all at least that's what i think that's, that's my theory on it now i'm going to bring you back round over this way and you're going to go there and then from this point I'm going to try engaging higher help. Higher? Hired. And that was a miscalculation on my part. Let's go back over here. Take it into there like that and yeah I know I'm not very straight here at the moment and you've completed your task. I don't think you've completed anything to be honest but you're now working. You're now going down across, and hopefully he will go all... Yes, he's gone all the way to the edge there, and then he's going to start working on some slightly longer runs in a minute. Drag that one round. While that one's getting going on there, we're going to go back over to this one, and we've got that side of the field to do over there. What I'm actually going to do this is I'm going to lower it down here, and I'm going to lift it back up because I've just lowered the weight down <laughs> rather than the cultivator. And I will lower the actual cultivator itself down. And we'll just smooth off this little bit right here. And then I'll take it over and we'll start working on the other little bit over there. There's not a huge amount over there to finish off now. We've done just about everything in this field. And then this one too will also be ready for planting. We do want some fertilizer in here at some point but i think what we'll do is we'll do the planting and we'll plant and have fertilizer put in at the same time and then we can work on it afterwards now if i do this correctly i would think that i can actually do it like this just bring this one over like this there back it up like this and I can let the hired help go from this point, and it should, I think, be able to finish all of it. Right, if I start from this point here, it'll work its work its way. Actually, no, it'll only work over to that one line. Oh no, it, no, 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 it might not. It'll work over to that line, but because it's only one width, unless it meets up with it perfectly, it will probably end up straddling that line and move over and finish off the rest of the field it may not do it quite evenly it may not do it quite as well as we hope but it should in theory get most of it done now let's have a look over this side we've got the plowed land is busy being taken up lime i need lime around the outside edge of that one and we well, that's about all we've got time for in today's episode. So we're going to go and take a little bit of a break. We need to chill out on the beach, relax, and build up some strength. So while we're doing that, if you've enjoyed the episode, then could you please head down below and give us a like. And if you really enjoyed it, then please tell your friends all about me. Get them to come and watch as well. That would be awesome. 
And until next time, thank you very much for watching. This is Frithgar. Goodbye, and see you later.